Hello and welcome to the Quantizer. In today's video, we're going to go over simulating a low pass filter in KiCad. We'll do a AC analysis. We'll show the frequency and the phase response of the circuit, as well as a transient analysis, see what it looks like in the time domain. So if that interests you, stick around and we'll show you how it's done. Before we get into how to build this circuit, if this type of information is interesting to you, be sure to like and subscribe so that you can get our content as it comes out. And also visit us at www.thequantizer.com. There'll be links down in the description where we'll have more information like uh, calculators for high and low pass filters and uh, the math behind this and the theory and all of the information you need to really understand these circuits. So the first thing we wanna do is open up KiCad and let's create a new project. Let's call it LPF for low pass filter. And let's open up schematic and zoom in here a little bit and press A to start adding components. And the first thing we're gonna do is a source. Let's get a voltage source from the P spice section. That right here, press A to add, R for resistor, and press R to rotate it. Let's add a capacitor, that right there, and then let's add some grounds, G and D for ground. C while hovering over the ground to copy it, right there, and then W to wire, and you start at a component. When you left click at the beginning of the next component, is how you Wire that until it's all good to go. And then we're done. We're done creating the circuit. So now we just need to add values. So the first thing we're gonna do is make this a 170 ohm resistor and this a 10 microfarad capacitor. And let's give the characteristics to the source as well. Press E to edit it. And then let's edit splice model right there. Uh, this section gets pulled from when you're doing a DC analysis, we're not going to do one. This section for an AC analysis, we will. So let's give it a one volt amplitude. And then this section is for the transient analysis. And we're going to do a sinusoidal, a DC offset of zero, and an amplitude of one. And a frequency of 50 hertz. Okay. So it looks good. We have the circuit set up. So now we just need to open up the simulator section. Uh, press settings and tell it what type of analysis you want to do. We'll start with that AC analysis and we'll do 10 points per decade. We'll start at one hertz and we'll stop at 200 hertz. Say OK, say run, and then we will probe the output right here. And there you go. That's the uh, frequency response of our circuit. We can right click and show the cursor to see where the 3dB point is at, the half power point right there. It's around 93.5 uh, hertz. And if we want to do the um, transient analysis said, we go to settings, transient analysis. Let's give it like a 10 um, microseconds per step. Give it a final time of, I don't know, uh, 100 milliseconds and an initial time of zero as a default. Okay, let's run that, probe the output. And there you go, there's the output of our circuit. We can also probe the input to see what the difference is. And so you can see, Phase shift a little bit, slightly attenuated, and we can modify the characteristics of this by pressing the tune button right here, and then clicking on the resistor and the capacitor. Start to edit their values, and you can see we can get to attenuate even more and just shift where that uh, where that curves at, where that 3 dB points at. So that's how you simulate a uh, low pass filter in KiCad. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe so that you can get our new content. And thanks and have a nice day.